Du melder med tag. Compliments of the new year. Thank you. Thank you. And I appreciate you taking the time to uh, do this. The first question I have of three is uh, when you think of yourself this time last year before you went to lead, and you think of yourself now in 12 months, what would you say were the key impact of that program on you? Major Neo? Um, thank you, Mepeg. Um, when I think of myself last year, <laughs> at this time, I just see someone who was very heavy burdened with negative thoughts and feelings, but having um, went through the program, it really helped me improve. It improved my self-esteem very much through the modules that, that they were that we were taught uh, especially when you did uh, self-awareness it was very helpful it was very helpful to me because i got to learn about myself i got to be self-aware and it improved my self-esteem that i got my capacities and my potentials, which I did not really know because for the longest time I had buried uh, negative thoughts about myself and the negative impacts that um, I went through as a child and how I was raised. So really my, self, my self-esteem got improved through, through that program and through that module. And I got to be a better person and be more confident in my abilities. Thank you very much, Peg. Um, I look at myself from last year before I knew the program. And uh, I have to be honest, it was the first time that I knew about the program lead. And um, I see a man who was living in a patriarchal society, a man who was Part of being a, that society, which is very patriarchal, I was also that man, the tough one who doesn't talk much about anything, whose sole responsibility is just to see to uh, maybe being a breadwinner and using his mother and physicality on everything that could, um, that was there. But uh, after I've joined the, the program, it has helped me a lot. In being, yes, still the man that I was was still living in the patriarchal society, but a man who now understands the difference, a man now who understands that men and women are, at the, in the beginning, they are both human beings. So um, it has really improved a lot of, a lot in me because I got a chance to also learn to express myself, communicate effectively through the, the, the modules, so all that has really improved the way I see things now, the way I, I can see things for the future, the way I foresee them. It has all changed. The way even I see myself, the way I talk to people, a lot has really changed in me, both personally and um, professionally, because now I even understand the difference of being at work in the community. Lead program has also taught me that I am a leader not only today, even for tomorrow and for the future. So that says leadership doesn't only end here. So it said to me, with the information, what are you going to do with it? Then that's when the, the program showed me the importance of paid forward. For so even in the community, everywhere that I am, everyone sees me as the person who has gone through such training, a training of its own, because I can't have been through many of them before, but this one was one of a kind that I've never went through. Thank you very much, Amen. Thank you Because you were chosen to uh, go into the professional uh, internship program, you have had the ch- chance, much better chance than most of the other graduates to use what you learned. You've <clears throat> received a lot of training since then. So one of the impacts of the leadership program is to provide interns and then we choose staff from that. 
so that in the end, our staff have gone through the training themselves. They have had a chance to grow and develop themselves properly in a stepwise fashion. So can you just talk a little bit about uh, how you used what you learned in LEAD in the last year in, in the professional internship program? And Dante, would you like to start with that? Okay, May. I thank you very much, May. Um, and uh, I, honestly, I really appreciate the chance and I feel lucky that I was one of the chosen ones to be the professional intern. And uh, because I got the chance to use um, all the information that I learned in the program. And apart from the, the, the effect of the around the issues of effective communication of which we use here at work every day, but it also improved the, uh, the professionalism in me because um, in the beginning, uh, yes, I was still doing things, but it is different now. Um, I know when to do what, how to talk to people, how to dress coming to work, and even just how to conduct myself outside of work. Uh, but um, most importantly, even when we got into the facilitation progress that we are already in now that we are learning as part of the internship program. Now we have incorporated those skills and those, that training from LEAD of which is really, is really making things very easier for us to understand, to implement and to really use them for, for, for the better. Because um, as I'm also working with the alumni group, which is uh, the outreach that is working with children in the communities, it's also my responsibility to also help those volunteers who are working with the children to understand the importance of what they are doing. So it says it also starts with myself doing right here at work and also for those people so that they learn from me. That's what Lee has taught me. Thank you, ma'am. Um, for me, it's still similar, like to Ndete Modopi, that I I learned a lot of a, a lot about leadership, and through that, it has helped me improve my leadership skills, which I am practicing um, now in my internship. Um, I'm able to lead, to take lead, and if I need to present, if there is a need for me to present in meetings, or take lead in in any of the trainings that we do, I'm able to do that. So my, I have been very capacitated on that. I have also improved in my professionalism because we were really taught on how to be professional. So I am able to practice it in my internship that I'm, I'm able to conduct myself well, to keep to respect time and respect other people, to be polite and to be, to, to carry myself with integrity as we help other, other people, the beneficiaries of Helpless Soto. We have, I'm very honored to have been in the pro, to being part of the program because it has built, uh, it has really built my, my professionalism and also the facilitation skills that we learned through the LEAD program. Now we are practicing them in our different programs that we are doing here at Help Lesotho, where we are reaching out to our different beneficiaries um, with life skills. So I'm able to practice and to put uh, in practice those, those facilitation skills. And my final question is that <clears throat> we all know when people come into the LEAP program, they're very wounded regardless of what they look like on the outside, they are suffering terribly. And you have been with a group of people in the program and now you're out with, in the field with beneficiaries all the time. So one of the objectives of the LEAP program is to build, help people to heal enough, to grow enough that they can let go of their pain and they can go on to help others. They can be stronger and more committed to healthy decision-making, to, um, to supporting those around them. That's a major uh, objective of that program. So I would just hope you would comment a little bit on 
your observations of the people that you went with, the people you're still in touch with? Do you feel there's a long-term impact or, and, and could you speak a little bit about this emotional element? Because um, a lot of the program uh, deals with helping them to address, identify and overcome their, their trauma actually. Would you like to start, my Daniel? Yes, ma'am. Um, thank you, ma'am. Uh, LEAD program is a very good platform and a safe place. It has created a safe place for people to just come and heal. And that was what uh, we got out of LEAD program last year. It was a safe place for people and for my, myself included and others for us to be able to share of our different experiences that we have gone through. Some of them shared about um, that they were raped as a, as, a young, as, a young, as young children. And some of them have gone through domestic violence, a lot of things. And through the grief and law session that um, some of them did not really, had not really got a chance to mourn and to, to really heal from their, from their past experiences with loss. So it became such a safe place to heal through expressing our thoughts and feelings and, and healing. And uh, for now, uh, we have built um, relationships amongst us. We are checking up on each other, on how we are doing. And when we meet in town or when we meet wherever, it, we are always excited. We are positive and we are pursuing other opportunities. We are carrying life with a positive mindset. So it has really built us and has built relationships among us. Well, I'm very proud of you both. You worked very hard, work you hard. We give you so much extra training and I just love watching you grow. So thank you for taking the time to talk to us, share your ideas, and to represent the graduates of the last week program. Really, boa ho ho Bye. And thank you for the opportunity. You're most welcome.